and welcome back to episode 16 of the Four Roads Out of Orba, uh, Orba podcast featuring us, the Orba Shop Quartet. Uh, my name is Dudu, and with me tonight we have uh, Bob. Hi. And then we have Bort. Howdy. And we have Tippy Tater Alligator. Hello, hello. So, Bort, how was your week? Anything new and exciting? Um, no, I went up to Duluth and went hiking up some, uh, during the forested, hilly, mountainy type areas and got caught in a downpour and it was awfully fun. Cool. Was it on the Superior Hiking Trail anywhere? Yes. Yep, we went up to Ely's uh, Peak. Nice. Yeah, I've been researching that trail lately. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Really neat train tunnel um, to the, out in the middle of nowhere. It was pretty neat. Didn't get mauled by a bear or nothing? No, nope, no, nope, unfortunately. You're stuck okay. with me another week. Cool, cool. I found it. <laughs> Bob's having some character sheet issues. <laughs> 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 so besides your uh your I think at this school. point he's just messing with us. <laughs> no, no, I good though. <laughs> this one from last week looks really good too. And I was right on all my numbers. Um <laughs> we'll have to pay attention this week, folks, and see if Darwin really does exist. <laughs> um <laughs> Bob, besides your character sheet drama, anything else going on? It was everything was going great? And then I think Dudu came up here last week and he lost my sheet, so now I've had to redo this whole thing here. Um, nice. But, no, it was you know how you have a, a program open on the bottom, uh, <laughs> so if you click on it, you can see there's a second one open. Well, that's what I did. I went down there and saw I had it open from two weeks ago. So everybody. I lost my sheep, but we're good to go now, so you can all breathe a sigh of relief, so we're good. Awesome, awesome. Tippy, sir, I see you're not in your usual vehicle. Uh, no, no, there is a uh, spontaneous change with work a few days ago, so I had to move uh, south about two hours. And uh, yeah, finish out this week, you have to run up and grab my camper, haul it down here over the weekend, and, uh, yep. Nice. Change of scenery, change of jo job project, so. Thanks. Excellent, excellent. Um, last week, we weren't, we didn't have a podcast up, so we apologize, or I apologize, because it was my fault. <laughs> had some, uh, extra work come up, and, uh, wasn't able to do this, so if you are uh, looking forward to this week and upset that it wasn't last week, I apologize, And but we are ready to roll tonight. Um, yeah, so I'm doing good, just working. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Um, so let's get started with uh, no, uh, episode number five of D&D with Dudu. All right, gentlemen. Um, when last we uh, gathered, you three had just take, uh, took, taken, taken out um, a bunch of goblins and uh, their chief, and um, this set the scene again. You're in a rather deep hole, a cylindrical hole. Um, you're down from the surface level you're down about uh 30 feet or so um the outside of the circle was the ramp that you got down 
Um, the hole is about 50 feet wide. Smack dab in the center, there is a uh, a uh, 20 foot by four foot deep pond, um, uh, complete with bubbles in the middle. Um, there's five. There's five. Um, look like little huts circled around said pond. Um, yeah, so you guys had, uh, uh, when we had left, you guys were going to loot it up. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, since we are all uh, tired from battle right now, I was wondering if I could sing a victory song on the Lear. Is it, is it that what it is, a Lear? Liar. A liar? Yeah. Okay. L-Y-R. Yep, yeah. liar. <laughs> <laughs> I sing a song in the lair. I sing a song and our HP gets higher. I sing a song on the loot. I sing a song and you pay me a toot. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. I'm so excellent. rested now. Um, what did we decide that gave everybody? Six? Did you uh, write it down? I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> you write it down? Um, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, so you play um, that since it was such a beautiful song, and I want to hear it again. Why don't you give me a, 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 a roll of six sided for me? Just one. Six. Oh, jeez. Excellent. Okay, so you know how we do steps in combat? That liar, while you're singing that, man, you just, you repeat it. It's beautiful. It's going to count for six steps. So, pretty powerful spell. So, um, for each step, you guys can roll one six-sided, and that's how much health you get back. Yeah. That's oh. a good roll in there, Tippy. Um, so, it'd be uh, basically a six-sided for each step. So, six of them. I'll let you guys do that. Is this for health, Andrew? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm already at full health, so I didn't need anything, correct? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I rolled a total of 23, so that puts my health at full. Good. Um... What's full health? No, let's have up. What's full health? That's a legit question. Full That's health. Uh, how much did you have for HP? So I had 14. Now I rolled 19, so I'm at 33. What's full health? Well, what's your max? What's did your max? Like, did you write it down? I thought we didn't have a max. I thought we all had the same max full health. No. Um... But we can figure it out. Um, hold on. What is your what's your constitution? Constitution's eight. What? Eight. Uh so base is twenty five. So you have uh you have thirty thirty health. Okay, so I'm full health then. So you were, yeah, so you're full health. Yep. Um, I think, I think, Tippy, we're going to treat that like one of your spells. You know how you, the first level spells, that liar. Okay. So you have like four spell spots, correct? Uh, I thought I just said two. What's that? I thought I just had two spots, or did I have more spots now that I leveled up? Um, no, you should, I'll send you a, a graph, but with your current level, you should have four spots okay. that you can do first level spells. Oh, oh, oh. Face touch and the 
oogie boogie thing. Um, yep, uh, it's like a combination of the uh, yep. four. And now that you're the level you are, you have uh, one second level spell you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the ice pack, touchy feely ice pack. Yep, yep. So you can do those four and that one a day, and then you have to, when you're done, you have to rest. Okay. So I'm going to yeah. treat the liar, the healing thing, I'm going to treat that as a first level spell. Got it. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. He sings a beautiful rendition of his music, and you guys feel great. Um, tell by how dark it is above you. Uh, you have fires down, down there. Giving you light, but you can tell how dark it is above you. That it's pretty close to nighttime. Um, you still, you know, got all this stuff to look through. Um, so there are yeah. like six, six huts. Five huts. Five huts. Five huts. Have we raided anything? No bodies or huts. Nothing yet. Uh, nothing. We the last time we did this, you guys killed everything, and it was, it was a long podcast, so we quit. I think we should raid the big guy. Okay. You have you have twelve goblin bodies. Uh, one big goblin dude. Um, basically, the goblins uh, have. Two toots between all of them. They had two toots, which are the gold money pieces. Two toots, uh, and basically their weapons. There was uh, uh, three spears, one shot with a spearhead. Uh, there was three axes, just like a wood axe. Uh, there was three clubs, basically um, uh, a, a branch that was whittled down to make a club, and then three short swords. Um, okay, so, so I'm just, that. So, uh, one each, can we use that there? Doesn't one of you have, like, an, uh, an unlimited bag or something you can carry stuff in? Yeah, we both do. Mm -hmm. I don't, so why don't one of you guys just throw everything in that bag, and then if we need it, you can just start throwing them. Yeah, I'll, I'll hang on and do it for you. Okay. okay so you're gonna... <laughs> when I need it for the right Unless... price, you'll give it to me. <laughs> okay. And then two toots total, Andrew, between the goblins? Yes. Okay. I'll hold on to the toots. How about that? Mm -hmm. The mage takes the toots. All right. Um, so you just grab them all and throw them in your bag? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Who's doing it? I've got two of each of them, and then Tippy has the other one. Okay. Uh, okay. So was that, that 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 was a club, a sword, short sword? Okay, hang, hang on, I got to go through these now because uh, they look, they appear to be what they are. Um, Ooh. Jace, give me two two six sided rolls. If he give me uh, one two set two six sided rolls, so two six sided one time from you, Tip, and two times from you, Jay. So let me know if you get eleven or twelve. I got a twelve. You got a twelve. I got a ten. Yep. And a seven. Okay, so you put two spears in your bag. They just appear to be regular, Tippy. On the other hand, grabs this spear. It kind of feels weird underneath your fingertips. Kind of feels sparkly. <laughs> it, it. When you touch it, there's something in you. Being the mage, uh, causes it the tip of the spear to kind of glow. Um, it is a plus two spear, magical spear. Okay. And now for the axes, same thing. One, two, six-sided from tip, and two, 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 yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Eight and five. All right. Seven. What? 
Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, so those are normal. The wooden clubs. Same deal. Eleven and seven. All right. One of those. Tip. Three. Three. All right, Bort, as you're putting one of them in your bag, same thing. It kind of sparks flying off it a little bit. And it is a plus one wooden club. Okay. All right. And now the same thing one more time for the short swords. Hi. What? I got a two and a five. Two and a five, tip. Oh, I uh, got nine. Nine, okay. All right, they just appear to be regular old hunks of metal. Um, um, okay, so that's the, the little goblins. You got the big guy left. Bob, since you said it first, I take it you're going over there. All right. Um, you find a piece of paper with some gibberish on it, and you find a dagger. So give me two six-sided, one on 11 or 12. And uh, you also find a necklace, or, excuse me, around his boat, around his boat, around his neck that has three bone teeth on it that appear to be canines from some kind of animal. Okay. And I need you to roll that again. A what? Dice. I didn't hear you. Two dice. Two dice, yeah. Ten. Ten. All right, that, when you take that necklace and you kind of hold it in your hand, it doesn't do anything. It just feels like a regular necklace. Um, so that is the, that is the goblin loot taken care of. You have, uh, you have hunger issues. You have five huts to look through. Um, what would you guys like to do? Go to hut number one. No. <laughs> okay. For that, Bob, I'd like to offer you a trade. Would you, I would be willing to trade you the club, the special one that's D6 plus one in exchange for the dagger. Okay. Do you want to take the club into your bag then? Sure. Okay. So I'm out of the club D six plus one. All right. Uh, Tippy, you say you're going in the first hut. Yep. You walk up to this hut, and it's just it's like a a, a, a circular top. Oh, I'd say four to five feet tall, circular top, um, got a uh, entrance in the front with a, appears to be some kind of an animal skin covering the door. Um, you gonna proceed to walk in or? I'm sorry, what's that? Are you gonna proceed to walk in? If I should knock first. <laughs> there could be something in there. <laughs> not the bottle. <laughs> Are you going to rap on the side of said hut? <laughs> All right. You hear absolutely nothing. <laughs> Well, that was a minute of time we'll never get back. He <laughs> was so polite, though. Okay, I'm going to be brave and just uh, barge in. Okay, 
You open up the flap, you walk into the hut, and uh, with the flap open, it's light enough for you to see inside. Um, basically, it's just some furs on the ground. Um, uh, nothing really special, like if you pick the furs up and throw them, check underneath them and stuff, there's, there's nothing uh, too special about anything, just a dirt floor. Okay. Uh, can I keep the first? Uh, yeah. They are. There are two wolf birds. Um, and one kind of a, a, a golden brown kind of looks like a about the size of a dog uh, fur. Now I need you to roll a uh, two six-sided dice. You do not want a one or a two. You get a one. That is talent right there. Or I mean a two or a three. A two or three. <laughs> Twelve? Okay. There's no stains on them that you can see. Um, yeah, so you got some furs out of that one. Could I go into the fourth one? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yes. Yes, you may. You, same thing. Walk up, circular type hut, entrance in the front, covered by furs. You walking in? Uh, kicking down the door. There's no doors. It's just a hanging okay. fur. I'm kicking in the fur. Okay. <laughs> you kick the fur, it goes in and then comes back out. Well, I meant to do it like dramatically, like kick it and then go through without looking. Ha ha! Surprise! Oh. Charge! That's why you won the dagger. Charge! Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to figure for sneak lucky, attacks. Lucky for you. Um, uh, there are a couple furs on the ground and a mace. A golden mace. Ooh. Yes. Um, and of course, do your two six sided rolls. Six. Six. No, it just appears to be a, a very shiny golden mace. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a couple uh, uh, wolf furs. If okay. You want. Yeah. All right. Bob, you want to get in on the action? I do, but I do have a question. Um, so our hunger's at two. Yep. Can we eat the goblins? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> I'm gonna refrain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if we're hungry, we have a whole bunch of dead bodies here. Are we that desperate to eat? <laughs> just leave them? Well, I have four days worth of jerky in my bag. I don't know what you're <laughs> but well, I ain't eating no goblins. Yeah, it's not that desperate. desperate. <laughs> wow, was really but, hard his jerky. <laughs> what? I am going to cut off the head of a goblin. Ooh. All right. Because I think we might need that at some point. Okay. Um, so you cut it off and you wrap it in the furs of something. And the, okay. All right. Cool. Um, so I have hut number two, hut number three, and hut number five. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anybody? Okay, I'll go know. if nobody else wants to go. I only got yeah, a yeah, yeah. Dead yeah. Goblin head. Go ahead, check out a hut. Yeah. yeah, I want Bob to get caught by something evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Does do we know what hut the big guy came from? Um. Uh, very good question, sir. I he came out of hut number three. I will go to hut number three. Same deal. Uh, round hut type thing. Fur hanging in the doorway. Um. Uh, 
uh, you will go into the hut. I'm gonna scare attack. I'm gonna scare whoever is in. Okay, hold on. I the wind came up and I did not hear you. What? I'm gonna grab my severed head and throw it in there first and scare if there's any goblins in there. Scare them to let them know what will happen to them if they do not surrender right away. I'm the boss. I am the boss. <laughs> 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 I did this to your buddy. What, yeah. Imagine what I can do to you. Yeah. All right. So you pull the the the, the fur aside. You whip the head in. You hear it hit the back of the wall, and then you hear it kind of clunk off something, and okay. uh, it comes to a stop. No scream. Huh? No screams. No screams. Okay. So I think I'm pretty good to go win. Okay. You walk inside the goblin hut. And there's the same thing, furs on the, on the floor in the middle so they can have a little sleepy spot. Um, over in the side of a, of a, I don't know how you can have a side on a round hut, but over towards the, the, uh, the wall, you see a chest sitting there. A wooden and iron chest. I think I'm going to try and open it. You're going to go over and try to open it, said chest. All right, so you go over, you put a hand on each side, you pop it open. And lucky for you, it is not a trapped chest. You open <coughs> the, the chest and you reveal, just by kind of looking quick, I'm going to have to shut my curtain can't see my beautiful face um you, you see what is about uh 50 toots um and two blue sapphire gems about you know half inch long or square okay. so i okay. think i'm so how many of those gems? Two. Two gems? Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, um, I will give the gems one to Tiffany and one to Borth, and then I would like to split up the two evenly. All right. All right. Well, Thank you. Well, I mean, you have to realize I'm really trying to suck up you guys because I'm sick of getting killed and used as a meat shield. So I'm hoping you guys will help out next battle a little bit. Help out? We killed almost everything. Well, quit <laughs> using me as a shield. So here, I'll pay you in some toots. Well, I, I mean, have you ever heard of a tank build? You're, you're kind of it. <laughs> kind of it, yeah. 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 Are you... No, so are you are you counting You're yourself the in on the or, or board is ranged and I am uh <laughs> so yeah yeah so I will do I'm gonna include me too so it'll be what okay. 17 17 those two can have 17 I'll have 16. okay there you go so you each got uh board and tip you got uh, uh sapphire about an inch long and squared, and then 17 toots each. And the third putt. We have two more huts. Ooh, who would like to go in? Let's all go into number two. Got number, number two. two uh, nope, two is still open. Um, To save time, you walk up to it, same deal, just a normal hut with a couple of wolf furs in the middle of it so they could have somewhere to sleep. Um, yeah, just a regular old hut. Okay. Um, that leaves number five. And um, I need to know who's going to approach it. Uh, you're muted. You did, Jace, or Bort. I apologize. Bob, I'll let you go in because you were so kind to share the other one. 
I don't know if I like that look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go in. You feel Bob will go in. <laughs> I'll go in. All right, you're going in. All right. You get close to the tent, and it's the same setup as before, round or in the middle of the door, but it reeks. There is some nasty smells coming from the inside of that thing. All right. I thought you said Bob was inside the tent. I, I say we set it on fire. <laughs> we'll guys see what's in there. Um, you... I'll go in. Okay. All right. Um, you pull the curtain back or the the door back, and um, uh, give me a roll against your Constitution, please. I got 13, and my constitution is 8. eight. Oh, my constitution is 8. I rolled a 13. Oh, geez, dude. You pull that. You get a whiff, and you you go over it, and you start just blowing chunks. That <laughs> side of the door. I mean, just puking your guts out. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you're just bent over, just heaving. May I be allowed to shut my curtain quick? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so then while this is happening, I gave uh, due to a short preview of what my move was going to be. I threw my squirrel hat into the water. And the squirrel hat hit said water. Nothing happened but little white creatures like lice started coming off of the squirrel hat and just floating, squiggling. So seeing that now, I think it would be good for me to stick my head into there. And wash your head? And try to kill the lice that have been infesting my head for the last three episodes. Okay, what are you going to do? Do you remember said triangle of bar of something that you were given? The bar of soap? Was it soap? You remember what it was? Or it, do was you... it smells like horses. Triangular bar type thing. Yes. Okay. Are you, going to, are you going to use that? Sure. Okay. So you you are a little bit unsure, but you put it in the water, kind of move it around a little bit, and it, you get some lather out of it. So you decide it would be a good idea. You stick your head in there. You come up, rub the bar over your head, and you imagine you automatically grow a tail. No, just kidding. You uh, you you lather up your head real good. You put your head back in, and you feel amazing. You're not itching anymore. You just yeah. You, you, your head feels like it should. Like okay. Okay. Excellent. And then am I able to retrieve my squirrel hat? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can reach your squirrel hat. And I'm assuming now my squirrel hat is clean? Um, well, roll for it. Roll a uh, one six-sided, odd it's clean, even it's still got some creatures in it. Ah, even. All right. <laughs> you still see some creatures rolling around in it. Yeah, I throw it back in. Walk okay. away. Walk away. All right. Way to contaminate somebody's drinking source. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's Bob. okay. We already murdered everyone. That's true. Okay, Bob, you have your head into this hut and you're porking up. Are you going to just take a quick glance around? Or are you going to step out or what? I got to take a glance around. I made it this far. Yeah. Is he still throwing up while this is happening? Yeah. Yeah, just... <laughs> anyway, okay, so basically all you see in there, it's basically their outhouse. There's piles <laughs> everywhere. Uh, <laughs> Told you uh, we should have lit it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, except uh, in the middle in the back, between two steaming piles of goblin crap, 
um, with little puddles of, of, of liquid around it. Um, you see a upside down uh, helm that kind of looks like the one you're wearing, but it's made out of very shiny uh, steel. And you think that's odd because it's been in here being even Cool. Okay, well, I think I'm a grabber and uh, try it on. <laughs> <laughs> D- don't you want to borrow a Bort soap first? <laughs> <laughs> Wash it off in the pond. No. no? no <laughs> you take yours off. You take yours off. Okay. You grab, <laughs> grab this helmet. It's about half full. <laughs> and uh there's there's eye holes you know and then like a little multiple thing in the eye holes and yeah. it's 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 been in there for a little bit but it's, it's barely seeping out of the set holes and you put it on your head and you have the runs down your face and it doesn't quite right go all the way down on your head because you think there's some compacted feces in there and okay. stopping it from going all the way down your head. Okay. But it's shiny, man. The outside is just beautiful. <laughs> it fit pretty good? No, no, you got this hard crap on the bottom of it that's... Can I take it off and mash it down or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, my thought is it'll kind of make like a suction cup. <laughs> and they'll <laughs> come up anymore. That's kind of my thought. Oh boy! I, if, if, if you don't borrow borrow <laughs> boards, soap, and wash that thing off in the pod right now, and wash your head off, I'm just going ahead without you guys. <laughs> All right. I'll wash myself off and wash the helmet off. I guess. <laughs> All right, so you go over to the you pond. imagine him walking out of there? <laughs> like, hey guys, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> look what I found. Yeah. Okay, after a very uh intense chastising by by uh your your knowledgeable wizard <laughs> um you decide to grab said pot and go over to the water. Are you gonna make it there, Bort? <laughs> okay. Um, you go over to the water. You dunk it a couple times. You hold it up. There's comes out. Dunk it a couple more times. Finally, you're you're successful in unsticking everything. Um, you you still have some on your shoulders and your head, and of course your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you talking about smears or like chunks? <laughs> both, both little chunks. Oh. See, right? we'll see some stuff it's, that reminds you of corn. Yeah, it's still been, every crevice of your ear too. Is... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, has it been on there long enough where it's crusting, or is it going to be a mess when I? Because if it's just kind of crusting, I can take it off. <laughs> Oh, you know, this this just happened one minute ago. It's quite fresh. Oh, yeah, it's still it, it's fresh. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah. I think I just got to go go for the hole, just dive right in the water. Dive just... right in the water. Are you taking the... Jace, are you going to offer up the soap? Or do you want soap? <laughs> if I could make soap, I would make him some soap right now. <laughs> All well, right. I don't wanna... What if we need the soap? <laughs> we could not possibly need the soap worse than you will right now. <laughs> need the soap right now, yes. All right, fine. I'll use the soap. <laughs> okay. So you dunk the you dunk the helm and you get it unstuck and you put it aside. You dive in the water. Um, you need to make this roll. <laughs> I need you to give me a luck roll. Oh gosh. He's not going to do it. I have six for luck. So I know. I know. But I also need you, on top of that, 
I need you to give me an intelligence roll also. Okay, what do you want first, the intelligence or the... You decide, buddy. All right, intelligence. I have 11. Okay. <laughs> Add. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> intelligence. You have a nine? Oh, three. Okay, you're under your intelligence. Yep, now so I need good luck. All right, luck, I have six, so I need to get a five, four, three, or two. So... You think you saw something, but you have no idea. Out in the middle of the pond. Oh, okay. You were, you were, you, you, you bathed for a while and you got yourself clean. You come yeah. out smelling like a, a horse. Uh -oh. Well, I messed up. Well, um, I was thinking there was a kraken in there. Yeah. Um, give There's me one more luck roll. Tippy, you'd have been smart enough to tell him to uh, not to bathe or Lord had his hat, right? Oh. Oh. Well, let's leave it up to chance. Uh, um, one six-sided, uh, even numbers. You told them odd numbers. You didn't. Give me a roll, tip. Five. Odd, you didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what are these little white things floating in the water? I'll stick my head into it. <laughs> and you now have the lice. That. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But you have an awesome new helm, dude. It's all shiny metal. Now oh, I need you to so have lice too now. <laughs> You're really yeah, concerned about having lice after having crap all over your head. Well, yeah, lice. That's a big deal. It's gross. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you need me to roll? Okay, I need you to roll two six sided to get an eleven or twelve. Whoa. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Nice. All right. The thing I prepared for this. This thing is a beautiful piece of work. You put it on your head, man, and you feel so awesome. All right. Basically, what this is is a plus four helm. Okay. And when you put it on, you feel some, uh, you, you feel some, um, uh, you, you feel a little bit smarter. You, you start talking numbers and stuff. Basically, it's a, uh, it's a plus four to your constitution. So once I got all the feces cleaned out. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your constitution right now? Eight. Or no, I'm sorry, not your constitution. Your intelligence. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. So you now are at a fifteen. Put the helm on. But your um <laughs> armor class drops down by one. Okay. So you have enough. So, so the guy who just put the feces-covered helm on his head has 15 intelligence? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What did you just break open? <laughs> yeah, maybe don't hit the WD-40 with a machete. <laughs> Oh, it was just a oh, it was just a metal pipe. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> good. Oh, All right. Of course, so it was expected to hear it. <laughs> you know, yeah. above ninetieth percentile. Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> I mean, did that. Um. 
850 experience for you guys. 850, okay. Yep. <laughs> that should put you up to level four. Yep, 4,050. Yep. Um, so I guess everybody... 4,250. What? what was that, Jay? Or Bort? I got us at 4,250. I thought we got 30. Oh. Yeah, I did the math. Wrong. All right, so everybody right, went up a level, so, correct? Uh, sorry, uh, what 4,250. 4,250, yep. yep. So you went up a level, so everybody can roll one six-sided dice and add it to any ability you want. Wait, we can add it to any ability we want? Oh, no, I said that wrong. I'm sorry. You each have one ability point that you can yeah. add it to any ability. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got a hit right? What? The six side is for the hit point increase. Correct. Correct. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I'm busy as uh, spell, roll. But our hit points don't increase anymore once we're, we're maxed, right? Or is it increased when we level up? It increases your max hit points, Bob, yeah. the six sided roll. So so roll. roll hit points. What your D6 does increases it. So I rolled a two, I went from 37 to 39. Ah, I get it. I rolled a one, so I go from 39 to 40. Okay, I'm at a 35. Okay, I'm going to add a one to my charisma. I'm going to add one to my info. And I am obviously adding one to my lock. I'm up to seven now. Woohoo. Level four. Um. Wow, I told you that wrong there, Tippy. Okay, so level four um, for your spell slots, you know, the little squares there, you have four. You still have four first levels, uh, but that jumps up to three second levels. You know, the, instead of one, it will be three. So you have three uses of a second level spell, and you have four uses of a first level spell. Okie dokie. Did uh, Bob alert us to the thing that he saw in the water? I, I don't know. Did you? Uh, or are you going to just wait out there? I think I'm just um, I'm gonna trust my helmet will protect me, so I'm I'm good. You just wait out there. I'm just kind of floating out here, just enjoying the water. Well, it's only it's only two feet deep, so. Oh. Yeah. With some bubbles up coming out of the middle. Um, so then, yeah, I think I should walk out there. Yep. Okay. So you walk out there. Uh, you go to the middle where you thought you saw something. Um, but now with all the activity in the pond, it's awful murky. Um, with the feces and the lice. In it, the lice. <laughs> um, you really can't see the bottom. So, well, Bob, the only way is just stick your head in and be able to get a get a view. <laughs> Oh my gosh. A lot of damage with this pipe. Yeah. Um, pipe. wow. Yeah. Bye bye. So, what do you guys think? I think you should go get whatever's in there. I think it's good. 
Okay. I'll Are you gonna? That. You're reaching down. Yep. Okay. You reach down. You go. You put your arm down there where the bubbles were, and you hear. You feel something get pressed. It press. It it, it presses in with the weight of your hand, and you hear a uh, uh, kind of like a rock grinding sound, like like you know something's opening up. Um, and as soon as you do that, um, you feel the floor underneath your feet kind of pull you backwards. Basically, what's happening is from the center of the pond, there is a hole opening up. All the water is draining into said hole, um, leaving behind a very slippery floor of feces <laughs> and dead lice carcasses. Um, and when you look down into the hole, you see the water is pooled at the bottom, and there is uh, a intelligence roll and a luck roll. For all of us, or just me? Just you. You're the only one looking down. Intelligence. Um... 15. Yep, I'm good for the intelligence. Okay. And then my luck roll, I'm not good for luck. Okay. So yes, intelligence, no luck. Okay. You, you see something down there, and you, you think it looks a lot like a, a big gem that you saw. Like in um, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, remember how there was that big diamond sitting there? <laughs> Just kind of sitting um, down, about feet past the floor of the pond. Um, it's our and um, big uh, uh, green gem sitting there. How far down is it from where I'm at? About two feet below the surface of the pond. Okay. Or the floor. Um, okay. So obviously I have no luck. So I'm wondering would Tippy or Fort like to venture out with me and one of them maybe try their luck to grab it? Because I don't have much luck and I would probably fall. I, I, I've got uh, high intelligence and high luck. Okay. You, um, you walk out there then, too. Bob goes, hey, come here, come here. So you walk out there, too. And you Bob goes, look, Jim. And you look down in there. Now give me a, an intelligence and a luck roll, please. Uh, how many? Uh, two? Two. No, three. Three. Oh, 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 three okay. six-sided dice. You need to be under your, your uh, attributes. Okay. Intelligence, I have four. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. That's eight. Is there any way I can turn the sound up on one person? Or is it just a computer? <coughs> it, it, it seems pretty quiet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you be quiet, Tippy. Okay. Not sure what my mic setting is at right now. Okay. All right, so did you get under your intelligence? Yes. I, did you get under your luck? Oh, no, I haven't rolled luck yet. Okay. I have a 15 uh, plus 5 luck. Um, <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> okay. So and, you... and that was a uh, 9. So. You, uh, go down, Bob said, look, Jim, and you go, yeah, you're right. And then you start kind of tilting your head around looking. You can see that there's little needles kind of coming up from the base. Oh. Um, where the, the base is, it's sunken in the middle. In the middle and the base, there's little holes with little needles that you think with your, with your intelligence and your luck that you spotted them, that if you pick this gem up, these needles up into said hand. 
So I don't want to touch it then? Uh, no. Because you get a handful of Okay. Could you... So I come walking out, and I say, what if we took Bob's helm, went over the gem, and slid it off that way? I don't know if I want to give this helm up. I went through a lot to get it. <laughs> no. Um, then we can carry it back and find somebody who will buy a needle gem. Could we got knock it? Is it on like a pedestal? Yeah, there's a there's a pedestal coming up, and on the, the flat space on the top of the pedestal, there's an indentation for the, the gem to sit in. And then around the corners of the, the base, there's little holes. And when Tippy was looking at the holes, he saw needles ready to spring out and grab, or not grab, but poke your hand if you were to enclose your hand over it. Could I, like, knock it over with my battle axe? Gem would out. You want to knock the gem off of the pedestal? Okay, are you going to try to grab it then, or are you going to just let it fall in the water? I'm assuming it's going to fall down. It's just going to be a, a foot or two down. Or isn't it already just a foot or two down? Yeah. yeah. This this hole that you, was revealed is like five feet deep. There's a three-foot pedestal coming up. Gem, and then there's about two feet of water. All the water from the pond went down, and, it, and there's about two feet of water swirling, uh, down in the bottom. Um, I think I'd personally rather knock it off and try going to get it in the water as opposed to uh, reaching to get pulled by the needles or the helm over it. I don't know what we're really going to do if we put my helm over it. Are we going to pull the whole thing up then or what? Or... I'm, I'm I'm trusting you, Mr. Intelligent uh, Crap Wearer. Yeah. All right, fine. I'll knock it off the thing. All right. You put your battle axe down there. You, you can tell you played golf before. Give it a little tap, tap, tap a and you knock it off. Uh, it falls in the water, and there's four needles that spring up, and there's like this weird gooey stuff on the end of them, and then they latch back down. Hear a uh, tink when the um, gem hits the ground. Um, I need, since you knocked it off, I need you to get under your luck. <laughs> All right, so my luck is at seven. Stupid ad. <laughs> okay. Dice program is ad. We never had it. We never had ads when we used dice. Okay, go for it. <laughs> All right. So you knock it off. It falls in the water. It hits the bottom, and it breaks open. And all of a sudden, there is green stuff. Ooze, not, not yeah, kind of green ooze coming up out of the middle of it, and the water starts to boil and kind of evaporate. As the water evaporates, you get a really strong like ozone um, smell that comes out of the hole, and you just see green uh, stuff boiling where the water used to be. I think I'm going to eat some of it. I think I'm going to eat some of it. Is that how superheroes are made? <laughs> so you're reaching down into the hole to grab some. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to back up. Okay. <laughs> well, that's how superheroes are made. Yeah, so, so I'm going to give her a shot. I'm going to try to taste it. Okay. You can reach down there. You put your hand in. Um, you put your 
<laughs> Give me a. <laughs> Don't say walk roll. <laughs> yeah, no. I. Yeah, but give me a six-sided for damage plus two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, damage. I got three, so five total. Five. So you take five points of damage, and when you pull your hat off, the leather glove you were wearing is no more, and you have burns on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, now I know. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so don't do that, guys. <laughs> there you go. Well, Bob, you didn't get it in your mouth yet. Bobby? Oh, wait, I, I didn't eat it yet? <laughs> oh, I gotta eat it. No, seriously? It just burned the crap out of your hands, and you're gonna put it in your mouth. Your helmet all of a sudden talks to you and goes, don't be stupid. <laughs> okay, fine. <all right. laughs> all right. So you just burned your crap on some green acidy <laughs> gooey stuff that came out of a gym. All right. Okay. Um so five damage, Bob. Yeah. That takes your max health. So keep two two tallies, your max health and your current health. Yep. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm at thirty five max health, thirty health right now. Right. Yep, I got it right now. Okay. So um and you notice as you, you kind of kind of staring down in the hole that the green stuff is getting smaller or getting lower, and it's not because it's going anywhere. It's actually eating the rock <laughs> that's, that's going down. You know. Um, okay, so that was the pond. That was the uh, the loot. That was everything in this area. So now it's super dark. You guys are most likely exhausted. You're hungry. You're thirsty. Um, you. How many units of thirst do we have against us right now? Oh, it's the end of the day, so probably all of them. Uh oh. Yep. You guys are getting hungry. You're getting thirsty. Had a long, full day of fighting and treading through goblin crap. Okay, well, I'll eat a day's worth of um, bear jerky. Okay. The other you two also, I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. Well, I only have two of my five hunger points spent, so. Really well, you to as the night rest with eating and stuff. Basically, towards the end of the day, you know, about noon, you're, you're missing two. About at the end of the day. Um, okay, yeah, so. so yeah. Mm. You have to eat, and then your eyes are getting tired, and. Well, guys, I think we're in, we're in, we're in trouble, though. We uh, didn't bother to drink any of the water. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> before we contaminated it at all. <laughs> hmm? Which I blame Bob for. You threw your lice hat in there first. Who has lice? <laughs> well, now I do. So it's your I fault. Say, I say we take um, Bob's helmet and then uh, build a fire and sterilize uh, some drinking water. Okay. Well, it just so happens by polluting and looking around, you see water skins, you know. So you, you're intelligent, you're a pretty smart guy, but you know that it wouldn't work because there's holes in the front of the helm, you know, for his eyeballs and stuff, so the water would come out. So you, you really can't use that. But uh, as, you, as you sniff the water and you have Bob try it to see if he dies or not, you find <laughs> out <laughs> you find out that it, the water is just fine. Uh, you sure. each you each find a water skin. Um, so yeah, you're you're fully hydrated. You're full, tired. You're gonna pass out. You're gonna sleep all night long. And we, the morning time comes. Do we have any extra water that we save in those water skins, or is it just gone? You looked. You looked. Uh, you looked 
all her own, and there was just the three. Okay. Um, to get full of uh, hydration, you would have to drink half of it, so you have half left. Okay. So, um, we're on to the another new day. You wake up um, down in the goblin hole, uh, surrounded by goblin crap, uh, acidy goo stuff, uh, warm fire, <laughs> that decaying goblin bodies. <laughs> There's a goblin that's headless. Um, Did Bob it's... ever pick up the head? Ready to win? Yes, man. Go get your goblin head, Bob. Yeah, I grabbed it, put it back in. Okay, all right. All right. Did you, did you try any of the goblin meat, Bob? No, I did not. Are you sure you don't want to try it? That could be a lot of extra food for us. Why don't you try it? I wasn't the one dumb enough to suggest eating the goblins. I'm going to put a kibosh to the eating the goblins. There, <laughs> there's not enough fire to cook the meat, and y yeah, you don't need, you got bear meat, you don't need to be eating goblins. That's what your wise mage says. He told me to tell you guys that. <laughs> I'm starting right. to think Dungeon Master doesn't like two-thirds of this party. <laughs> What's that? I said I'm starting to think the Dungeon Master doesn't like two-thirds of this party. <laughs> no, I, I like you all very much. Okay, so now we're on to the next day. Um, 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 um. I think we might even have to break this up a little bit. Yeah, it's already an hour and 15 minutes into it. Well, can we trek back to town quick, or is there yep. going to okay. be an adventure in the middle? Yep, all right, fast track so, the map. Yeah, fast travel. Uh, <laughs> you guys come out of the goblin hole, come up the cave, you walk back down the path. Um, path is wide enough for two people side by side, so I take it. The meat shield's going first, uh, and then the mage probably, and then a the weird looking dude in the back. Um, and you make the trek to uh, uh, the half a day trek back to the um, the inn. You're down two spots, two slots on food and water because um, it's because it's noon. Um, you <clears throat> as you as you um. As you walk up to the inn, you you see the two guards that were, or two men that were walking around the big fenced-in area. You still, um, he told you last time that that was his garden, and um, he's finding a defensive inn and hires some guards to keep them little goblin dudes from coming and stealing all his food. Um, as you're walking up the path to the inn, the guard sees the odd head-shaped uh, item that's in Bob's hand. He gets a big smile on his face. He comes running up to you, and, and you three pre presented to him. Um, he yells for his wife to bring the payment. Now, for the life of me, I can't remember what... <laughs> 300. 300 shoes. Okay. Um, she comes out with uh, uh, a bag, three bags with 100 toots in it each for all of you. Uh, you hand, you open up the little fur bag thing, you let the goblin head roll out, and you notice uh, both of the guards have stopped walking around the garden fence and now have taken notice of you three and um, uh, one of them says to you what have you done and the other one said now how will I put food on the table for my family and they start 
walking with towards you guys with weapons held high. And I think that is going to be a massive battle, so we will leave that for next time. Um, yeah. So basically, where we will pick up is you three are standing in front of the in, or in front of the so that. So the inn basically sits here. Uh, the garden's here. Wife. And then the... Okay. So basically, the inn sits here. And off to the side was the garden. That's fenced in. Here are you three. Here's the old man and his wife. Talking to you, the other two dudes right here. Upset, done. They don't know how they're going to feed their families now, and they're out for blood. So that is where we will pick up the next time. Um, that is all. Let you go if you want to do it again next week. Or what are you at that? Bart. Sounds good. I'm, doing, I'm enjoying these. All right, Bob, you're good. All right, then. That's what we will do. We will, uh, next time we meet up, we will um, we will do the sixth episode of D&D &D with Doodoo. -Doo. So uh, before we go, Bob, do you have any closing words of wisdom? No, oh, very good job. A lot of fun. I appreciate Thank you. Uh, Let's see. Um, I heard a joke today. All right. I would love to hear it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Pets are animals that are not good to eat. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> a lot of truth in that. A lot of truth in that. Um, Tippy. Oh, I was gonna make a joke about that. There's probably nothing wrong, with it, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, for me, Dudu, and the rest of the gentlemen, thank you for listening or watching. Um, until next week, thank you very much. Bye-bye.